He has a big problem. If he goes for Ruination, I'll go for the Double Thrall Summon. Hi guys, Raftera here. I hope that you are having an awesome 2021 as always. Welcome to the second video for my Seasonal Tournament Open Round series and for today's video, I will feature my second deck which is another very fun off-meta deck which is Thalia Thralls. And before you say anything, this deck actually levels up Thalia. Thalia is a huge necessity in this deck. Thalia contributes to a lot of wins. Without Thalia, I probably won't be able to make it through the playoffs. So this is a slap in the face for those players who are saying that the buff to Thalia was not significant. Thalia is still a garbage champion. Talia is very legit in this deck. Trust me, you will see in the gameplay Talia does a lot of work. She levels up here. She won a lot of games for me. And once again, similar to the previous video, you will see me in the first few games still creating mistakes because I was still warming up. This is actually the deck that I had zero level mastery. You will see my Talia was still at level zero mastery and I was increasing to level one mastery within the tournament. But during the last few games in the video, you will see me enter my Try hard mode, my god mode, my all out mode. I was super quiet. I was trying to make the most ultimate place. And I think I did a pretty good job at that. With that, I hope that you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a random comment, or a non random comment in the comment section for the YouTube algorithm. I hope that you have a nice day. Bye bye. Okay, it's the nice stretch matchup. Let's see if Thralls will deliver for us. I like keeping Lysandra. I don't think I keep flash freezes here. I want to look for it later on, but not necessarily get it early. But if we get it early, it's also not a problem. See what we, see, we have an early defender with the Spire and Chronomancer. He only has one right of negation, guys. Oh, I like Avalanche a lot. We can always rely on you to keep us so safe. good. Yeah, it's so good right now. If he goes for development, I go for Avalanche. I must be known. Yeah, we're gonna go like this so that we still have a defender. I'm gonna start off with my Thrall. If he uses Black Spear here, it's fine. I just need the Thrall down. Mm, so on turn 4, if he doesn't Merciless Hunter here, most likely he doesn't have a Merciless Hunter. Turn 4, he could go for the Spirit Leech. Uh, the Avalanche getting very, very tasty. Aren't I just fine passing? If he passes back, he doesn't have a good open attack. Although, there's a reason to Avalanche here, like... Rather to prevent the Thresh from seeing the deaths next turn. Yeah, there's a shit. I think I misplayed. Yeah, I think I misplayed here. I should have avalanched. Although now promising future becomes a lot more promising. I, I should have avalanched last turn. That was my mistake. I think I'm more than fine with that. I don't want any of that. Reservoir might be fine. I get the level up on Lysandra. It's a lot of damage. Okay, four out of six. Hmm. 
you could look for like a vile feast plus black spear onto the frost guard thrall or he could just kill the spirit leech with like a glimpse beyond the box so no thresh level up yet but he puts down the hp of my thralls back now back to 5 and 2 thirsty one mana um, wings and wave dune keeper right of calling revenge butcher those are the things he could play Hi. I have the freeze and I will have ice shards from the sandra oh if he puts down another nasus that could be the loose condition I, I don't know how big his nasus is though Hmm. So for five mana, I'm still okay. Um, what's the worst he could do? I don't want to like use ice shard and then get feasted. That's the worst. I need to save up four mana always, so I should always keep flash freeze up. I don't need the ice shards right now. Huh? Down to four mana. He might be able to kill kill my frost guard thralls. That might be a problem. If he's able to do that. I, I have to save mana for flash freeze. Then I'm just worried about what he will do about the others. This looks like a very, very juicy. But then, oh, I think all my thralls will die anyway this turn. Shit, this is still winnable for him. He will put out an Asus, which will be problematic. It's a pretty big Nasus. He, he was able to survive there. He can still win here. Light Red Levine could also deal 2 damage to him. If I go Reservarium into Blighted, I have enough mana for Ice Shards and then I just Ice Shards next turn. He used one Vile Feast already. He still has one with Rungel. I don't think going for the Blighted Ravine is the principal win con here. I'm going for the second Lysandra. That is a problem. That is a big problem. I think I have to entomb. I have to entomb. Just went through sheer ice shards. The Talia level up could also be our win con. He needs to use right of negation. I'm just going wide, going on the open attack. No way he has siphoning strike. I think I need to finish it next turn and just go wide. I don't think he has siphoning strike, guys. a bad throw. Now we have to hope to win here. He will block here, block there. 
Withering Wheel is his win condition. It's looking like a GG, guys. He needed exactly Withering Wheel as well, please. Yeah, my, my misplay there was in the early game. I let Thresh level up. The, the leveled up Thresh is what's killing me right now. I should have avalanched the turn before. That's the misplay. GG. Gonna go overtime. I look for my thralls, my Lysandra. Nothing else. I, I might have to play fast here because this game could go to overtime. I, I, I have to play fast because of the timer. Is he doing the rope strat? I, I'm looking for my thralls. No thralls, I skip. I'm aware of the timer. I have to play fast. The winter's claw strikes. Thralls. No thralls again. None of these seem useful, but a flash. No, no, no. None of this is useful. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I'll be attacking on turn 5, so my Dractor and Inquisitor, Inquisitor is not in danger of dying. This will be down to 6. I can count it down with Clockwork Curator or with Time in a Bottle. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. It's okay. It's not a scary attack yet. I don't need to time in a bottle yet. I'm okay taking this damage. It's like 5. No, 3 plus 4, 7 damage. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go for that. Okay. Can't really do anything for five mana to stop this. I can time in a bottle this one at least. Talia is also great. Uh, level up the ice for this now. And I have enough mana to save for flash freeze. He 
should use Ice Shard this turn, right? Should I commit everything or should I leave some for defense? I, I just flash freeze next turn, I think. My, my loose condition is this Ruin Runner. Oh, if the Ruin Runner dies, then that's so fine. My loose condition next turn is something like uh, an exhaust. Any way to make the Frozen Troll vulnerable. And then he attacks with the Renekton. I will be forced to Flash Freeze and then he uses Battle Fury. That's my loose condition. Yeah, that's my loose condition. I, I need to draw another Freeze to make sure I win. Or he needs to not have Battle Fury. Either of those two. Oh. If he gives me a chance to summon the Lissandra, is he gonna have a hard time? Okay, I, I think it's GG. I think it's GG. GG? Holy shit, what a series. I had a major misplay during the Threshness game. I let the Thresh level up. That was a huge no-no. Huge no-no. <laughs> My level 0 Talia Mastery showing. I don't have right of negation at all. I like keeping aspiring chronomancer, ice shard and blighted ravine. Hmm. Not too much. Yeah. Blighted ravine is not too good here. I have to do a sneaky kill. The scorched earth is so scary. This promising future is not something that I'd like to commit. Also, I don't have my trial set. That's also a thing. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. I, I need to skip. I, I need my thralls. Okay. So weird it out, but it's fine. I'm in a bottle. Mystic shot. I have the best job. Okay. Prime and ready. No problem. I just need to get a landmark. I have two advanced cards here. No mass. No luck. I need to get the Drakler then soon. I need to get the Thralls. I, I can get Lissandra. I can get Thrall. I can get Drakler. I have a lot of chances. I might have to predict soon if the Thrall does not come out. I have to go for the predict.
Please, we have Lysandra now. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Seems like a pretty good avalanche. I don't think I can I can afford I don't think I can afford the promising future. I, I need to lose Talia immediately. If I use promising future, he's just gonna scorch earth. Raven level up. What's my name? Gotcha. Yeah, we just we just need to multiply our landmarks. Nothing fancy here. Can't be greedy with promising future. Yes, three cards left in hand. What are the chances that it's a freaking scorched earth? Firing. If you will drop below three mana, I think I will be fine. The promising future. Scorch Earth on one. Oh, nice. We baited it so well. Such a great bait, mate. It's gonna be super hard for him to kill me with this. I might even win on the spot. But I can put him down to 1 HP and then use my Lissandra next turn. To Ice Shards. And I think I'm gonna go for that. As long as he doesn't have a second calling strike, we're gonna be good to go. Uh, let's just play the Lissandra. If he has second calling strike, he's always gonna use it on Lissandra. He doesn't have any other targets in my deck. Hopefully he doesn't have it.
It's like he doesn't. He has it. He has it. Oh, he doesn't have it. GG. Doesn't matter. He has nothing to stop dice strikes. Nice, we were able to win an unfavored matchup twice. <laughs> we didn't even face our target deck. I need the ancient prep to make sure I get my thrall. Those are not valuable here. We get the Draclorn. That's pretty nice. We get two predicts. I like our chances at least at getting at least one thrall, right? We still have one more predict. Okay, good. Good shit. So we just take the attack now. Go for you. It's the Draclorn turn soon. This dude will get big. The trolls are going to war. I don't think that's a problem. Will he use Ruination here? I think it's fine if he Ruinations. I don't even want this Thrall to be summoned yet. He has a big problem. If he goes for Ruination, I'll go for the double Thrall summon. On the next turn. You will do as I command. Yeah, he's in a super bad spot. King of trolls coming through. King of nothing without my aid. I I, wa I wanna kill this um, clockwork curator. It's fine if he kills the other one. It's fine.
For 2 mana, he doesn't have anything left. Let's just deal as much damage to the Nexus. Oh. Powerful open attack coming. GG. It's power of the thralls. His discard. I'm looking for my avalanche, my blighted ravine, my ice shards. Okay, we have. I, uh, I also like tavern keeper, I guess. We're gonna go blighted ravine on turn 4, almost, no matter what happens. It's a bit weird that he banned Ashnox actually. Oh, nice avalanche as well. Okay. I'll do better this time. Okay. I just have to preserve Aryan and hope that he develops next turn. go for this we stop his development kill all of his units if he summons something like a crowd favorite I, I can flash freeze yeah, he's gonna go crowd favorite but I can flash freeze that one If he goes wide, I would like to avalanche. If he attacks, I, I'm I'm taking taking three. Just fine. I think I should go for time in a bottle first. Okay, that's pretty good. I shred is pretty good. Um, we can use three sisters as flash freeze. Time for the main event. Only double get excited will be able to stop me. I'm gonna bet he doesn't have double get excited. A reasonable bit. Yeah, it's a reasonable bit. Okay. For 
the money makers. That's fine. I think I can win here. I think I can win the game now. Thank you. 